Area is the size of a surface or the amount of space inside the boundary of a shape. To picture area, we can always make this little grid showing us little squares that represent the area in area of a shape. If we had a width of three, that'd be one, two, three squares. A length of six, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six squares. And if we counted out all these squares, that would give us our area. Since we picture area in squares, we are going to use square units or units squared to represent the area of a shape. Instead of drawing a grid for each shape, we can kind of pick out some patterns and lead to, that lead to some shortcuts to find area. For example, in rectangles, we can always multiply the length and the width, and that would tell us how many square units are inside the rectangle. In this case, we would have four times six, and that would give us 24 square units. For triangles, the area is equal to one half times the base times the height. I like to think of triangles as half of a rectangle. See, we can split this rectangle into two separate triangles, each half the area of the rectangle. That's why when we find the area, we multiply one half times that base and the height. In this example, we've got one half times the base, 10, times the height, six, which would give us 30 square units. And lastly, circles. The area is equal to pi r squared, or times pi, ta, pi times, sorry, pi times the radius squared. For this circle, that would be area equals to pi times the radius four squared, which would give 16 pi square units. Again, you can plug in 3.14 to estimate the value of pi if you would like to. And that's how to find the area of your basic shapes.